she here. Here she is. Paula Price. He was so, he was just great looking. 
And um, I was, was sort of glad my um, approach was like Hawks told me it would be. You like him, but you, you don't think he's so hot, you know what I mean? That sort of thing. Um, so we got along great. Right? He was very, very kind to me. He, um, he told me that, uh, that I looked beautiful, you know, I, he said, you look like Rita Hayward. I said, oh my God. <laughs> he was very kind, The Rock was very kind. And Howard was just great. He just put up with me. And when he shoots a film, um, he lets us overlap. Uh, he says sometimes that you can say a few more words after and a few more words to begin because he likes people to overlap so the conversation keeps flowing, you know, just like when regular people talk. Um, that's funny because I noticed that quite a bit in this movie. You're constantly interjecting. You're constantly uh -huh. like pushing. Yeah. And I don't know how his, his um, you know, the, the girl who did the book, kept on kept book, did it. But she was used to working with him so she could do it. She, she'd know when something was going to be thrown in or when we were going to be conversational or something like that. So while it wasn't anything like ad lib, it was his world. His, Howard Hawks' world was these women, and um, and the guys who are a little so they're caught up in their own business and their own with their own cronies and stuff like that. And these women come along and kind of tell them, um, maybe you're not so hot at what you do. You're certainly <laughs> not hot when you, you you kiss me. So I don't care. That's it. Do you know something like that? It was very interesting, a very particular world that he had. It really was. Where was this shot? You know, you're, you're, you're was, oh my goodness, this was wonderful. It was at Universal. And they had this big swimming pool, and we got our, um, our, our you know, suits sprayed on. And uh, it was so much fun. It really was. And I learned how to fish, which I, I really, really did enjoy. And um, I think Dick's mother was visiting us, and Rock asked us to come over to his house. And uh, Dick's mother, Ruth, was so pleased. She really was, because he was such a big movie star. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> now, the, the same year this movie comes out, you make a, a, another film, one of my favorite movies of all time, The, the World of Henry Orient. Which oh, the, yeah. The, uh -huh. uh, the, the first two collaborations you do with Peter Sellers. So yeah, that's What was right. it like working with Peter Sellers? Oh, man, I was crazy, and he was crazier. <laughs> yeah, so it was fun, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you were, you were with, you were with Dick oh, way back then, so. Yes, my God, we've been married 49 years this October. This 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 uh, double feature on our, on the website. I was amazed how many of the responses were about your television show you guys did together. He yes. and she, which has seemed to be remembered so fondly. Yes. Um, is, is there any chance that'll be that come out on DVD or anything like that? I or? I I don't know, but it only ran one season. Right. Uh, but it was it was that was great because we were working together and we'd all both been at school together uh, at Northwestern and we wanted to. Yeah, that would be cool if we could do something together. So we got to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was fun. Any questions out here? Right there. Yeah, hi. Hi. So when your character tells uh, Rock Hudson that he's too nice to live a phony life, did you know that kind of had maybe hit close too close to home? <laughs> um, what do you mean? Well, I mean, did you? Well, it's funny. When you watch movies, it's hard to know yeah. that Rock is closeted. This is a movie about a man who, who is a uh, uh, hyper masculine who's living a lie. Uh -huh. And I think this question is. Yeah, I mean, how, did you know anything about his private life and that, that line might kind of be. No. <laughs> okay. I just thought he was gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> wow. right. I can see why it appealed to a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You were in, in Harm's Way with Paul Granger and yeah. John Wayne. Could you talk a little bit about working with those two? Yeah, Otto Preminger was tough. Um, he was particularly tough on Tom Tryon. But 
I I got him. I got him wanted to do certain things. So I just did them. I didn't fight it beforehand because I was scared of him. I didn't know any difference, you know. Um, he was great. Um, I always liked him. You know, I got along with him fine. And uh, <laughs> he asked us over to his house too. Berminger did. And uh, he, behind him was Tennessee Williams. And in between the two backyards was a beautiful sculpture. And they would turn it when each one of them was having people over so they could look out the window and see the sculpture. <laughs> Yeah. 
So I wanted to do those things still in search of character, probably still in search of who I am, you know? <laughs> Probably because, but the, the roles gave me a chance to try on all kinds of things, and I enjoyed them, you know. The uh, Woody Allen picture was kind of a out there one. I remember I got to wear some neat coats for that, yeah. Oh, your clothes are great. I love, the, I love your red stockings. Yeah. I did too. I thought, well, where can I get a pair of clothes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really intrigued by the fact, you know, I, I you were really a big presence in my life. I, I, I was, even as a, when I was watching your movies on television, you, you, there was always something very contemporary about you. In, 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 but then I wondered, okay, I don't know how else to say this. What happened? Because it's like you, I, so you made all these movies in the '60s, and then I, I watched everything you did in the '70s, and then suddenly it seemed as if you had almost disappeared. Well, I had children. <laughs> I, um, my first was born when I was 31, and the next one I was 36, uh, and I really wanted to do that. I thought that would be an interesting thing to do, in lieu of the kind of upbringing that I had, where, mm, I'm not sure, I want to repeat that. So I thought I'd better um, concentrate on this. So I had all the fun things of, of motherhood, and I, like, I took my kids to ballet or I took my son to the games or whatever he wanted to do to go.